hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we will discuss an another use case inside canvas of power apps sometimes we have a requirement that depending on the current login user role you want to redirect a specific page for example i have here two screens one is called as property manager screen and another is called as guest screen this is another screen called as guest screen where i have different uh, user interface and controls and in another screen we have property manager screen related to uh, property manager okay so my intention is when a user opens this app screen one is the first screen okay here i have some controls and also i have some buttons and when that button is clicked it should check what is the current login user role if a role is equal to a specific user role redirect to property manager that means if the current user role is property manager it should redirect to property manager screen else it will redirect to guest screen okay that means we need a uh, role based navigation concept in canvas app so how to get current login user role and check it and redirect depending on the role check we need to understand so i have created three pages here one is screen one property manager screen and guest screen in screen one being my main screen or home screen i can rename this as home screen or home page okay and in this home screen i have a uh, button here okay in this button my intention is i want to check the current user role how to get the current user role you have to first go to data and connect two important entities connected to your data verse one is called as user which is system user another is called as system user this two user this two entity security role and user is very important to get current user security role there is another another entity called as user security roles which is a uh, intersect entity between these two to store the user and role mapping because user and role is many to many relation relationship so there is an entity called as system user roles but you cannot directly access system user role entity uh, in this uh, box data source box that's why we need to find out in a different way so first you need to connect this user and security role by using add data and once it is connected you have to write some power effects on the button click to get the current user role the first power effects we need to write is to get current user roles okay so what i have done you just need to check here i have i have created a collection variable current user roles okay so let me just comment it out so that i can tell you okay what you need to do you have to first declare a collection variable either using collect or clear collect okay and declare the declare a variable collection type variable let's say user roles okay and this user roles will be received from role entity which is already connected so you have to use lookup what i need to find out lookup users first i need to get the user information get lookup for users where the domain name you will find a entity uh, you find a column called as domain name is equal to user object dot email so this syntax will read that user record where current user email is equal to the rec users entity record domain name that means ultimately i am looking for the user record connecting to current login user then if i'll click on dot then i can access 
all the entities which are related to user entity including man to man relationship so i need the security role so what i can do i can search here security role and use this relationship name system user roles association okay and that means when i am using this that means i am trying to get all security roles associated with the current user record this is many to many intersectable this is how you can access okay then you have to close the bracket keep inside a bracket the lookup function keep inside a bracket and use the name property because i want all the security role names so close the bracket and clear close the function using semicolon now this statement will get all the security role names of the current login user and store in this user roles okay now if you bind for testing purpose if you take this user role let's say i want to take a gallery control to bind this uh, bind this uh, uh, collection variable then i can get all the let me change the layout to title and i want to connect in items user roles when you connect user roles automatically the all the secret roles of that user will be available in this collection variable and bind to this gallery let us check that let me run it click this where as soon as i click this it will first get all the secret roles of the current login user and bind to the gallery that means i am the login user so i have three three security roles with me okay now i can check if a specific user if property if the future property or system admin or basic user belongs to this list then redirect to a specific page or not right let's say i want to check system administrator okay so in the button i can write down if if system administrator it is the it is the value available in user roles this is the collection if this belongs to this keep it inside double quote if system administrator is available in user roles collection then what you want to do navigate to a specific screen else navigate to another specific screen so if system admin is available that means the current user is a system admin navigate to let's say property manager screen else navigate to guest screen okay now let me test so i'll go to the screen property manager screen and change this to something system administrator just to check if it is redirecting correct page correct page and in guest i want to use a guest okay so now let us check i'll go to home page and click on role based navigation so once i click this it will check if system admin is available in this list if available it will go to system administrator page right so this is the page it is navigating now if again i will go to home page and use another user it will navigate to the else it will navigate to guest page okay right now because i am system administrator administrator so let me just use else condition let me just 
replace this if system administrator go to guest otherwise go to property manager let me test this okay so depending on your uh, value or security role we are now manipulating our app so main purpose of this video is to get the current user roles and conditional check if a specific role exists in a collection and do the task i hope you understand how it works thank you everyone watching this video see you next time guys bye